good to see you. I'm sorry this is so late. I've been working on this uh, painting, this paint by number thing, and I made a video of it, and it kind of screwed up halfway through. I don't know what happened. Something happened to the video aspect of it, so um, I had to edit, edit a little bit out. Kind of, it's kind of near the end anyway. So um, I'm sitting here watching it to make sure that the edits go the way they're supposed to. Every now and then, this this uh, software kind of freezes up and when it does you have to stop it and start all over again so I'm just keeping an eye on it to make sure it doesn't do that because I really don't have time for that tonight like I want to go to bed at some point um but I thought while well, I wait for that I, I do have to get my shower and go downstairs and do some stuff but I thought before I did all that I would at least take a minute to say hey and uh and let you know that it was a good day what is it Thursday it was a pretty good day um Nothing terribly interesting happened. Did anything interesting happen? No, my, my younger son mowed the backyard, or he finished mowing. He started it yesterday, but it got it was starting to get dark, so he had to finish it up today. And uh, I I don't know. I mean, if my, my pink rose bush out there actually has made some roses. I don't think it made a single rose last year. I don't think I saw even one rose on that bush last year. It has a bunch on it right now. It has five or six on it. I don't know. It was just pouting last year. I don't think it made even one rose last year. It hardly even had any leaves on it. I thought it was going to die. And it may be in its death throes right now. It's just trying to reproduce itself somehow, but I don't think they actually do. Um, but yeah, it's got a bunch of roses on it this year. I didn't do anything to it. I, I tried to give it some, some rose bush feed last year, but it didn't seem to do anything for it. And I made sure to keep it watered and make sure it was tended to. And it just, I don't know. Maybe it just needed to recuperate and, and come back strong this year. I have no idea. But it's uh, it's it's doing fine. It has roses all over it now. Yeah, you better keep going. I've got my eye on it over there. Um, I was going to show you my plants and show you how much my tomato plants have grown. They have grown so much. And I had, I ate the one strawberry that was on there the other day. It was really good. And now there's another one on there that's even bigger than the first one. Oh, it's on the other plant. It's not ready yet, though. It's still kind of green. But it's looking good. It's starting to turn red. So I'll eat that one, too. I offered it to my younger son. He didn't want it. He just looked at it like it was gross. I said, it's just like the ones in the grocery store. He said, yeah, but those are different somehow. I feel weird eating that one. Like, man. I can tell you didn't grow up out in the country. 100% city boy. That's all right. We'll work on him. But, um, did anything happen? No, I went to an exercise class. That's why I'm not wearing my work clothes. And then I came home. I made dinner. We, uh, played around with the new TV some. I really like it. It looks much better. It's way faster. I didn't realize how slow the other one had gotten until we set up this new one. And it is so fast. Oh my gosh, the other one had gotten so slow. It took forever to do anything. Um, but I, I've put it up for my, my older son to take when he moves out. So he said he wanted it. And I said, well, you can have it. It still works. It's just a little slow. Um, well, do you want to see how my picture looks so far? It looks kind of stupid, but I'll show it to you. Okay, so you come over here. And this is some, this is my Canon. This is some jewelry from the rhinestone lot that I'm going to sell separately. I'm going to sell these pieces separately, but here it is. It's supposed to be, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like when it's done. These are the colors that came with it. You have 12 colors. And hopefully when it's done, that will look like that. I mean, yeah, we got a long way to go. I got this at Aldi. Isn't that pretty? Boy, if we can get it to look like that, that'll be all right. That's nice. But yeah, we're, we're on our way. This is all I got done. It took a little while to do that. And I'm going to work on it some on my own. But then I will also work on it some more in some videos too. So it won't just be on my own. But we'll, we'll work on it some more. Look at these pretty colors. I love the, I love, I just love the colors of this painting. I just think it's going to look very calming. I think it's going to be a pretty little picture when I'm done. So that's my, my little paint by numbers. I got that at Aldi for $4.99, the little paint by numbers canvas. I mean, you can find some that are way bigger than that. Um, I know at Hamrick's they have some 
well, the last time I was there, when I was there making a video, they had some, they were only, they were on sale for like $10, and they were twice, at least twice as big as that. So, yeah, I thought it would be something fun to do, and I'm enjoying it so far, and it comes with all the paints and two paint brushes. I mean, everything you need to do it for $5. I mean, I thought that was a pretty good deal. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, it's, I'm still just learning every day I learn new stuff and and that's what I like to do you know I like to learn new things every day I am definitely doing that I have learning a lot I'm still you know getting used to like being around people and talking to people eight hours a day and oh, it's been a while since I had to do that like just interact with people like that so I'm getting there. I mean, I did it before. I can do it again. It won't kill me. I'm not a, a hothouse orchid. I'm not quite that delicate. You know, I'll be all right. It's just a matter of getting used to it. Um, but it's good. It's good. The weekend's almost here. One more day. Woohoo! What am I doing this weekend? Well, I have to go out of town Saturday for a bit um, to do some stuff. And, uh, and family stuff, and uh, then my, my younger son and I are going somewhere Saturday morning early. And, uh, yeah, and then, so Sunday, I, I don't know, but at some point I have to get stuff done that I can't do during the week. And that's always a lot of fun, but things are going great. The weather is beautiful. It's warmed up a little bit. It's not quite so chilly, and it's been really good. That's been really good. So I don't really have much else to say. It's uh it's been it's been a good day. I've had a good day. Nothing else really happened today. No. So that's the video I'm gonna do. You'll get to see me paint that video when I when I get done editing it. When, well well when it finishes processing. I've already edited it. It's processing now. It's gonna take another oh 27 minutes. So I have to go downstairs and do some stuff. And get some stuff done up here. I've picked out my clothes for tomorrow to wear. Got my gym bag ready to go and all that. So, yeah. I'm sorry this is so short, but I'm going to get on with it. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. Um, I hope things are good with you. I'm sorry I hardly ever have... I don't have time to respond to anything anymore. I'm sorry. It's not that I don't read the comments. I do, but I just... I have so little time during the week anymore compared to what it was before. I had a lot more... I had more free time in the past. I don't have it anymore. I don't. Because, like, right now, I gotta go down and swap some clothes out in the dryer. I gotta find Boop. She went outside. I can see if I can get her back in here. Clean up everything from doing the painting. I gotta do that. And then I gotta get a shower, brush my teeth, and, you know, get stuff ready for in the morning. So, I don't... Ha I'm not a lady of leisure anymore. Those days are over. So, some people get their feelings hurt when I don't answer them. I don't mean anything by it. It don't take it personally. Um, I'm sorry you feel that way, but, you know, just imagine this, okay? Say, do you have a full-time job? Imagine that, and then you have kids, too. And if they need anything, you're up. There's nobody to do it for you. Um, if you have, if your 13 year old needs to go anywhere or do anything or they're sick or they need to be picked up or there's a kerfuffle with the neighbor, the, the kids down the street, you're up. There's nobody to take care of it but you. And then run a YouTube channel on top of that and sell stuff on eBay and have another channel just for fun. It's, it's a lot. I mean, I enjoy it. I like my life the way it is, but it, it's a lot. And I, I've, some people have gotten their feelings hurt in the last week and a half because I haven't answered them, and I'm sorry. It is nothing personal, I promise you. But you got you got to understand, I only have 24 hours a day just like you do, and, you know, there's a lot going on. Oh, I did about trip over the bagger for the lawnmower outside, and now I have a nasty bruise on my leg to prove it. I I don't know what I was thinking. I set it down. It was like that time I tripped over my hand weights in the gym. And I set them behind myself like a dumbass. And then I sort of stumbled over them like a dumbass. Like, why would you put them right behind where you were standing and going to be... You knew you were going to be stepping back. Why did you set them there? I said... I did it. I took the bagger. I was going to put it on the lawnmower. But I set it down for a second right behind me. And then I proceeded to step back, and I stumbled over it, and I hit the frame on the bagger with the back of my leg, and now I have 
That's going to be, it's going to leave a mark, as Chris Farley would say. That's going to leave a mark. I was so mad at myself. Like, why did you do that? I don't know. But I was out there, my my younger son was using the weed eater, and I went ahead and got the lawnmower out because I needed to get into the storage building because I bought a shit ton of sunflower kernels for my for my birds. Um, they had a sale on them on PetSmart. Dot com and I bought like six big bags of sunflower kernels for my birds and it's for birds it's you know meant to be put in bird feeders and they had it on sale and it was really good price so I have six giant bags of sunflower kernels and I was trying to find nooks and crannies to put them in in the building and I had to get the lawnmower out to get in there and I put it down I put the bagger down I was messing with the mower and then I stepped back and I about fell I didn't quite fall on most fail, but I got all the, I got it all put up. I guess that was probably the most exciting thing that happened today was that I almost fell over the bagger for the lawnmower <laughs> and I watered my plants and I was going to make a video. I thought I need to show them my flowers and my tomato plants they are getting so big, but then it got dark and I, for, you know, I forgot to do it before it got dark and well, because I came in the house and I had to make dinner and then I got into doing a whole bunch of other stuff and then the next thing I knew it was dark outside. I'm like, well, shit, that's not going to happen today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I'll try. But yes, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for being so awesome. I appreciate all the nice things that y'all have said. <clears throat> My throat's messed up. Damn pollen or something. I don't... I've given up on not ever having a scratchy throat because I think pollen is just something we just have year-round now. Either that or I'm dying. Of, I don't know, some disease that bats get. I don't know. But I always have a scratchy throat. Sorry. But thank you so much for being here and for being so great. Y'all are so great. That's one thing I've learned from having YouTube channels is that there are a lot of really nice people. The world is full of lots of really nice, really cool people, and I'm glad to know y'all. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad we're all here. <laughs> Thank you again so much for being here. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again soon.